Hi, this is Ryan Knox with the Agency of Digital Services, Agency of Natural Resources IT team. And this video is going to demonstrate how to take a map area offline with ArcGIS field maps. I've already installed field maps on my device. And for the MRGP solution, you need that app from your app store and then also survey one, two, three. So once you install an app, you can just search for it, right? Swipe down and I'm gonna type in field maps and it pops up. If you have an RTS online member and you're a part of the MRGP group, um, you can sign in with your regular credentials. Um, so I'm gonna sign in with RTS online. If you're not a part of the MRGP group, um, reach out to me and we can give you an invitation. That way you can complete the MRGP work under your organization's umbrella. All right. So if you're part of the group, you have access to that MRGP mobile map. Um, I'm going to work on a road that I know has no data connection. Um, and I need to take a part that map off, part of that map offline so I can complete the work. If you hit the dot 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 next to the map, you can add an offline area. If I'm standing close to my location where I'm going to be working, I can hit the top right hand corner in that little universal kind of arrow, north arrow in the top right hand corner and it'll use my location. This is where I am. To take a map area offline, you need to define two things, the geographic area and the level of detail. So right now I'm just using my fingers to pan and zoom to the area I know I'm gonna be working in. By default, I've set the level of detail to street, which I think is very appropriate for this work. Uh, you can just leave it there and hit download area. This is where if I had some fancy screen recording software, I would have a fast forward button or, or do something clever, but we're just gonna wait for that progress bar to complete. It's worth noting that I can take multiple areas offline. So if I know I'm working in one road in the morning, I in another road in the afternoon, you know, I can take those two areas offline. The time that it takes the download is dependent on the geographic area that you've defined, and then also your internet connection. So please be patient. I would think it would be almost inconceivable to, you know, take the state's um, road segments offline and download. That's going to take forever and it might even fail. Um, but, you know, a town based area for offline use is a valid option. Just please be patient because even a town's worth of segments is a lot of data that we're taking offline. All right, here we go. You know, it occupies 127 megabytes. Um, just want to point out a couple things. To the right of the area nine, there's another dot, 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 and that's kind of just some more options. I'm going to rename this to something that makes sense. I'm gonna click that dot, dot, dot again. Just know that you can hit the check for update and that will just sync in the background and get you the current status of your offline area. You can also manage your offline area by just removing it. Um, sometimes you've completed the work and you wanna remove that storage, just hit the remove area. You can always create another offline area if you need to go back.
Okay, so let's open that. And notice that, you know, my, my map right here is just limited to the area that I had in my um, map window, you know, just in the area of Olympus in this case. And from here, you know, when I'm in the field and there's no data connection, I can just start the MRGP workflow, which is using a map, selecting the segment, and launching survey one, two, three. Thanks for your time. Um, if you have any questions, reach out to Jim Ryan, MRGP program manager, or Ryan Knox uh, for any IT or technical assistance. Thanks.